Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today I have a very special video for you. I'm going to be making uh, goat paya or uh, it's also known as uh, goat foot soup. You can make it with cow's feet as well. Um, so let's get started. Uh, my name is Zuruj Khan and I'm making this video for my friend Rufi Bhai and Zainab's channel, uh, Usmani's Adventure. Uh, please uh, make sure you subscribe and like this channel and this video. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again and again with amazing recipes. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the ingredients and this is of course paya. You can see here, I have a little bit of meat in the bottom there as well as you can see. And this is what we are going to use today. It has already been cleaned, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, now I'm gonna show you that I already have some oil in my instant pot, it is ready to go. I have some chopped onions. I used about four small chopped onions. I also have a packet of the masala for paya. And then now you can see that's some ground ginger. That's my fresh garlic that um, I used. I don't like to use the paste. I use fresh garlic that you can see right there. And then I have all of these masalas, which include zira powder, coriander powder, haldi, red chili, and salt. And I was just gonna show you that you can use the, the packet instead if you don't wanna use um, these masalas. I'm using both, you don't have to use both. That's why I have a small quantity of the masalas in the plate. Okay, so now we are going to start with the first step. The oil is already heating up and I'm gonna add all the onions that I chopped up earlier. They're just gonna go right in and we're gonna give it a good stir. And just so you know, this is this is the first step pretty much in every desi food you're ever gonna cook. You always start up with frying onions. The delicious smell starts coming. And the trick is to make sure you don't get your onions too dark. You just need a light brown color. And just, just stir it up and enjoy the good smell. Make sure your exhaust, exhaust fan is on. Uh, light up a candle because this is gonna get in everywhere in all your clothes in all your hair everywhere But it's delicious. So keep going and the next step is going to follow shortly But you want to give it at least maybe five to seven minutes. It can even take longer Okay, so here we see the onions have been sort of browning for the last five six minutes maybe and uh, the aroma is coming and now i'm gonna put all what you call the kara masala i'm gonna start with the black cardamom i'm gonna put that in uh, the bay leaf uh, some cloves uh, dalcini or cinnamon sticks green cardamom or elanchi and now honestly guys this is my favorite part the smell the aroma that just unlocks once you put this in and you fry it with the onions oh it is incredible this this is why i love cooking so much it you just have to enjoy every step of the way and the smells and the aromas once they unlock after a few minutes is just incredible okay guys this is the moment you have all been waiting for the onion is slightly brown as i wanted it it's it's gonna keep going but the moment of truth is finally here where you get to see the feet go into the stew and eventually become a soup so here we go one two three and there you can even see along with the feet there's this is the meat i was talking about earlier so now we're gonna brown this for a few minutes like very vigorously let it cook and the other thing that you want to do right at this moment is put in your ginger and garlic so i'm going to get my garlic ready just wait for me right here this is going to be the ground garlic that i made so i'm going to put it in right now there you go the more garlic the better it is and i'm also going to put in some ginger I like to brown my garlic myself, but for ginger, because it doesn't really work that well with the mortar and pesto, so I just use the 
paste here, but I don't really like using the paste because it has, like I can always taste it when somebody uses the paste versus the real deal. You know, the real deal is always better. It's always better to go for the real deal. I'm telling you. Okay, so now we're gonna let it brown for a bit and then we'll be back. Okay guys, now the smells are like unbelievable. Like this is so good. You just wanna make sure that it doesn't stick at the bottom. You don't wanna make sure that, you wanna make sure that it doesn't get stuck and burnt. So the next step is going to be that I will add all the stuff. <laughs> oh no! This is uh, gonna be a very special Corona edition of the pies. But don't worry, this is gonna stay in my house only. It's not going anywhere. So don't worry about the sneeze. I covered it as much as I could, if you know. Obviously, you know, I'm not wearing a mask right now, but hopefully all of this, you know, is going to burn, burn the Corona, if it even exists. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so I've put all the masalas and now I'm going to let it cook for a bit like this and we will be back. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of water here to get it to, you know, not burn my masala. So here we go. Now I'm gonna add all of the, the packet masala that I was telling you about. Here we go. Whoa, that's, that's a lot. Oh my God. Okay. Well, maybe I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then I'm gonna mix it all up. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay guys, as you can see now with the masala and everything, this is bunning very nicely. And now, as you know, that every great chef has a very secret trick for you. So I'm just gonna let you know that this next step is actually not a secret tip. It's just, I forgot to show you this ingredient in the beginning and it is known as yogurt. So it's all going in right now. And now we're just gonna mix it up before we do the final next step, which is going to be adding the water. So um, here you go. Now you know that there was yogurt required and we will be back. Okay guys, so now this is going to be the final step before we put it on the long cook. So I'm going to add water now and we'll see about how much water we need. I'm gonna start by adding one cup right here. Okay, oh, that uh, didn't really do much now, did it? Looks like we're gonna add more. So let's see, I'm gonna add more now. Let's see. There we go, 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 there we go. Oh, okay. I think that is about um, enough water. Um, no, it is not. I need a little bit more water. So just one second, guys. I'm gonna get more water. Okay, so here we go. I'm now adding uh, just a little bit more water and that's about, um, I think the total water that I added is about five cups in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm trying something different and you know, new this time. Last time I made it in this, I did a pressure cook. Obviously in the instant pot, you can do a pressure cook, but today, my plan is to do a slow cook. So I'm gonna do a long cook. Um, here you go, I put it on seal. And as you can see here now, that my clock is going up to six hours. So let's see how this goes and I will be back. 
okay guys so now this is um it has been cooking for uh almost i cooked it for on slow cook for about 10 hours and you can see it is quite uh, well done here you up that's how it is so now your final step is now what we are going to do is we are going to put in some lemon juice so you will see now the lemon juice will be going in this is about uh, about uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice that has gone in here and I will also be putting some fresh coriander on top um, and this is also a good time to put in some uh, garam masala about one table one teaspoon of garam masala you can put from on the top but as you guys saw before that i put in a lot of masala um, actually it turns out that it was a bit too much so maybe next time i will put only half a packet if i'm gonna do that because one packet was just too much so uh, i highly recommend you do not do that um okay so now the final step will be when i dish it out and i will show you guys it then okay guys so now i'm ready to dish it out so let's see how it is we're going to take one of these pieces there you go and i put in some some beef as well so i'm going to get get some of that in there actual beef there we go i'm going to take some of this there's the juice and now as you can see what I'm going to do is garnish with some of these things take some coriander put it all like that here's some green chilies and I put the uh, lemon before but I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon as well and there you have it guys that is goat pie. Okay guys, so this is what the final um, dish looks like. Uh, please uh, like uh, this video if you enjoyed it and try to make it and um, leave in some comments on uh, how it was. And please um, check out my channel as well and uh, check out all the other videos on Rufi Bhai's channel, Usmani's Adventure, and you can see that he has some other channels as well, so you can see that. And also, please um, leave in the comments on what else you would like me to make next, and please request uh, Rufi Bhai to bring me on his channel again. I really enjoyed doing this video, and uh, I really hope you guys uh, will enjoy it. Take care. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Enjoy.